Welcome to the cell's very own post office. You can see the Golgi apparatus ahead of you. It's made of a group of flattened, disc-like structures right next to the endoplasmic reticulum. The Golgi apparatus receives proteins and lipids, which are types of biochemicals, from the rough endoplasmic reticulum and sorts, modifies, concentrates, packs, and dispatches these biochemicals to parts both inside and outside the cell. Let's look at the three main sections involved in receiving, packaging, and sending these biochemicals. The first section is the cis-Golgi network. This is where the Golgi apparatus receives biochemicals from the rough endoplasmic reticulum. The second section is the Golgi stack. This is the main processing area of the Golgi apparatus. The Golgi apparatus stores, modifies, and packages products and also helps in the formation of lysosomes, which we will talk about in a bit. Finally, we have the trans-Golgi network. This is where the biochemicals are packed into sealed sacs, also known as vesicles, and sent to wherever they need to go. There are three places these vesicles can be delivered to. It can be delivered to outside of the cell, the plasma membrane of the cell, and within the cell, to organelles called lysosomes. Let's take a look at the lysosomes in the cell. The lysosome is the digestive system of the cell. Just like our stomach wall secretes acid to help break down the food that we eat, lysosomes have over 50 different enzymes that help break down all types of biological polymers, like proteins, nucleic acids, carbohydrates, and lipids. The lysosome has two jobs. The first one is to break down material that comes in from outside the cell. The lysosomes break down these molecules into materials that the cell can use. The lysosome has another job too. It is nicknamed the cleanup crew of the cell. Not only does it digest foreign components in the cell, but it also digests trash in the cell. This trash is basically the parts in the cell which are broken and no longer function, which are useless to the cell. How exactly do molecules enter and leave the cell? Look up! We can see the plasma membrane surrounding the entire cell. This is a semi-permeable membrane. We can think of it to be the gate which not only allows but also blocks certain molecules from entering or leaving the cell. The plasma membrane is made of a phospholipid bilayer. This is basically two layers made up of many phospholipids. A phospholipid has a phosphate head and a lipid tail. The lipid tails are hydrophobic, meaning they hate water. Since both the cytoplasm in the cell and the fluid outside the cell contain water, the tails face inwards, pointing towards each other. The phosphate head, on the other hand, is hydrophilic, meaning it loves water. It points towards the outside, thereby forming a stable phospholipid bilayer. The membrane is also made up of proteins, cholesterol, and carbohydrates. These components work together to maintain balance in the cell by regulating what enters and leaves the cell. The plasma membrane is what defines the cell. Without it, we would just be standing in a lake of cytoplasm, 
and the cell wouldn't have any shape or form.